Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dracut. It's time for another Before the Cape episode, or part of the episode. Um, this is prayer. Um, I'm wearing a skilling outfit that's just for prayer. Um, it's got all these little green ones to give you an extra 1%. Um, I also have a little beast of burden to help carry stuff with, because basically um, prayer is just running around uh, burying bones for the most part um, you can do it multiple ways I mean the traditional way for it is you you know if you kill a monster they drop a bone or whatever and then you can just click on it and bury it and you'll get you know a whole five experience for those type of bones um, another thing you can do is there's this item called a bone crusher you can get um, from um, the dungeoneering skill and basically what it does is um, if you go and kill a creature that drops bones, it will automatically bury it for you. So, um, you'll see I got some bonus experience, and all it drops is a cowhide, I guess, which it had eaten a cow. But it gives me the prayer experience um, without actually having to bury it, so that's a little bit uh, lazier method. And then the method that gives you the most experience is you get... Um, some herbs and take the bones to your house and um, light them up and sacrifice the bones to uh, your altar and you get about I think it's two and a half times more experience so you get three and a half times the base um, so what I usually do is I'll get uh, two full loads of, of bones and that's a, a hot key I've got to just load my backpack full of bones and this little pack yak um, is something from summoning skill you have to have a level 96 summoning for it and it lasts uh, 58 minutes and then I've actually got um, my wife's characters helping me out today she's um, basically just hanging out with the avatar and lighting um, the incense, incense for me so that keeps me from having to remember uh, to get the incense out every time and uh, these bones usually will give you, I think it's like 75 experience or something. But uh, with the bonus from the avatar, the outfit I'm wearing, I get 31.1 bonus from that. And then I get the two and a half times the base added on because I'm sacrificing at this altar with these incense burners both burn, burning. So I think each one adds a certain percentage and then the altar depending on the type adds a certain percentage and of course I've got the you know spent the money and got the highest level altar that you can have um, to, for a total of you know 350 percent of experience or 250 percent more than the base experience whichever way you want to look at it and one thing that I have found is I mean if you take out the bones while you're using them it uh, will not stop which saves you a few seconds because um, I originally when I was doing this would uh, wait until I completely used up my first inventory actually click on the uh, pack yak to get uh, open it but then I discovered this handy little you know take items from the piece of burden and it will take the items out um, from the top of its list to the bottom so if there's um, something you're doing that you want certain things to come out first and you can do it that way um, but that's basically all prayer is um, I've collected you know thousands of, of dragon bones uh, to do this um, I'm actually you know uh, a little over a million experience away so I mean it's still another 3,000 bones and there's about 56 I think per trip so yeah still quite a few trips um, each trip takes about three minutes so you do 20 trips an hour I'll be done at about 1100 bones an hour so I've got about two or three hours of this left and then I uh, probably won't be doing very much prayer ever again so uh, then after this I think I've got four more left so uh, just um, grinding them out trying to get all these 99s done and uh, see how it goes from there um, but thanks for watching I will continue doing this and I will be back when it's time to get to 99. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for my 99. So uh, here's my uh, last bones to bury. It's the Berry V Dragon Bones from before. 
Um, going ahead and light the torches even though I really don't need to light the burners. Um, but my wife's been helping me with a lot of this so I figured uh, have have the burners lit too. Um, so I just need like 30 28 experience this should give me I think 105 and that's not without the avatar and everything else so it should be plenty and then um, I will try and figure out where the cape is because I forgot to uh, research that so uh, here goes nothing uh, 99 prayer oh uh, prayer instead of offering <laughs> the woohoo 99 more prayer points skill mastery yes yes oh, ha, ha. so that gives me 2556 total levels uh, all 99s is 2574 I believe uh, so I've just got four left herb uh, herb lore dungeoneering <laughs> farming and smithing um, so still a little ways to go I'm expecting farming to be my last. Um, I'm hoping Herbler I'll get here pretty soon. I'm going to need to check on my kingdom here in a couple more days and maybe have enough herbs to finish it up. Um, and still been doing farming runs and getting herbs from that too. So hopefully I'll have enough um, here in the next day or two. Uh, thanks as usual for watching. And next up is getting the cape. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dracket. Uh, getting ready to claim my cape for prayer. I uh, found the guy. He's in Edgeville in the upstairs of the monastery. Uh, this brother Jared right here. So I guess we have to talk to him since he doesn't have a trade option. And I guess of my choices, uh, we'll see what you can do here. What can you do to help a bold adventurer like myself? Well, seeing as you, as you are so devout and praising the gods, I should sell you a skill cape of prayer. Yes, thanks. Oh, yes, please. So few people have skill capes of prayer. I don't know if that's necessarily true or not, since you can just buy the bones. But anyway. Donation of 99,000. Of course. I'm always happy to contribute towards a monastery's upkeep. Of course, of course. So here's my uh, prayer cape, prayer hood. And this one's actually a pretty cool cape. I like it. It's one of those plain and simple. Uh, see if I can find where I had saved. I think it would be on the first one. There's my cape. I just a little angel. <laughs> so, yep, that's the uh, prayer emote. Uh, pretty cool overall, I think. It's, uh, it's a pretty classy cape, I think. Uh, pretty, you know, not plain, just, you know, s I don't know what the right word, simple, I don't know, whatever. But it's you know, kind of a classic design. It's not busy or anything, and I like the color combination and and this, you know, little emote's not too bad. But oh well. Anyways, that's it for this cape. Um, probably I'll start uh, working on getting my smithing levels up next and continue to keep farming, and then hopefully I expect my next 99 will. Either be herbal or if I get enough herbs this next time I visit my kingdom, or it's going to be, I would think, maybe even dungeoneering. Just depends on how fast smithing goes. So I will talk at y'all later. Thanks for watching. This is Dracket. See you in a couple days. Bye.